Okay, to make this easiest, I am going to go over chapters 11 through 14 with you using a recording. So the themes that were covered in these four chapters are um, creation for chapters 11 and 12, and then it takes two for chapters 13 and 14. So um, some of the plot events. First of all, the, the narrator now is the monster before Victor was narrating and now the monster is narrating and he recalls um, like coming alive and noticing sensations like light and dark. He kind of remembers his creation and he's wandering um, probably first in the city and then he wanders into the countryside and he notices he's very cold. So he finds a fire on page 110 that was left by some beggars and he goes to warm himself. There's some irony here because he goes right up to the fire and he throws himself into it and then he realizes um, that it burns him. So he's understanding the fire is something good, but when he puts his hands in the flames, he gets injured. So some of the irony in this, of course, is that too much of a good thing can hurt us. Too much fire can hurt him. Um, the monster comes across a cottage and he he's starving. He's been eating some berries and things, but he goes in and he eats all of their food. And then while he's observing this cottage because he wants more food, so he kind of stays around like, like a stray animal or something. And he notices a young man, um, a young, young woman and an older man. This is the De Lacey family. He eventually um, comes across what their names are. Some character developments. The monster is starting to notice the De Lacey family dynamics. Like he notices how they work and take care of each other. Um, this is a father and a brother and a sister. He wants to win the family over by being gentle and by helping them. He starts to kind of get that he's been taking, taking, taking and causing a burden on them. And now he wants to start like cutting firewood and, um, you know, finding a little food for them and trying to, he leaves them these gifts. They don't know he's there. He's hiding. He stays in hiding. They don't see him. Um, because when people have seen the monster up until this point, they scream and they're afraid because he's so hideous, he's so terrible to look at. So he's hoping he can prove that he's good to the DeLacy family and then win them over by his kindness. Like if he's super nice to them for a long time and then reveals himself, they're going to love him because he has been so good to them. The names of the DeLacy family are Felix, Agatha, and Father DeLacy, or Old Man DeLacy, they sometimes call him in the book. Um, as we get to chapter 13, Safi, this woman with very dark hair, she looks like an Arabian, she's described as an Arabian, she shows up at the cottage. And she is Felix's love interest. We can see right away that Felix is in love with her. Um, her father was a Turk and her mother was a Christian. So that would be kind of conflicting. Um, the monster watches Felix teaching Safi how, because she doesn't speak English. So he's teaching her how to speak English. He's teaching her, I'm using a book called Ruins of Empires. And when the monster is watching this, this is how he's also learning to speak better and to read. Also, when he's watching the ruins of empires um, be taught, he's learning about um, how man can be so cruel to one another. Because in that book, it talks a lot about war and some cruelties involved with war. The family yet doesn't know about the monster. Like he's just kind of always peeking in a window, um, watching them, but they don't know about him. The theme ties. Um, covered in these two sets of chapters are creation and it takes two, like I said before. The monster learns of his creation and wonders why he doesn't know his creator. Um, this shows readers how creations need to be tended to beyond the creation phase. He doesn't know his creator, he doesn't have any creator to learn from, and Mary Shelley is showing us like don't create something and not see it through. And then also these chapters show how a female presence is necessary. And we know that Mary Shelley's mother, of course, was a feminist. Mary Shelley had children of her own. She's saying um, a female presence is necessary. And Savi and Agatha and Elizabeth um, in this book, but not in these chapters, play key roles in the lives of the people around them. The monster is understanding how Felix loves Safi and he longs for companionship like this. Um, some plot events continued. The De Lacy family came to be living in this cottage because Safi's father swindled them out of their money. Um, he was a Turk and was taken to prison and the De Lacy's help him get out of prison and because they help him, the French authorities find that out 
that they have they help this Turkish man and they make them leave their home and their lives behind. So they have to leave their home, their wealth, they have to go to Germany and live in this hut. Safie decides to come and find them when she finds out her, how her father cheated them out of their money. She leaves her father and she goes out and tries to find them. And the point where we're at right now is that Safie is with them. The monster has not revealed himself to them yet. Um, he's getting to a point where he wants to. So that then ends um, these chapters.